good morning, everybody. Hey, this is Crew. Hope everyone's doing amazing today. We are coming at you on FS22. And let me just click on a couple things here. Make sure this is good. All right, there we go. That's good. And let's just go here. That's good. Okay. And we have our new headset today. Came in yesterday, probably later in the afternoon. So, <clears throat> yeah, we're rocking out with our new head. It's the same headset that I've been using, just a newer one, because the other one started to have some, uh, some, uh, quality of sound issues, so we're ready to rock and roll now. Hope everybody's doing awesome. And let's take a look here. So guys, um, on the last episode, we had gotten to just a little bit over 2 million, and we decided, if you remember, we purchased this land at the end of the stream and uh this is the land that we're going to start doing cows and pigs on we do have an ad coming up in about 20 seconds so just fyi yo what's up drift you're cutting grass nice how are you drift good to see you buddy <coughs> yeah we actually just got done cutting grass and we just got done plowing the corn chaff field you guys remember we had uh, started up doing well awesome bro absolutely awesome hey crazy oaky how are you brother we got an ad in progress guys I try to get that one out of the way right away this way those pre-roll ads won't come up Big Vito, happy birthday, brother. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. It's just Striker. What's happening, cuz? Oh, thank you, crazy. Yep. It's your birthday. It's my birthday, and I'll cry if I want to. Yeah, it sure is. And tomorrow is the missus' birthday. Yep. It's big five, three. Striker, I think the missus, uh, so how does it feel to be 21? It's great, bro. Yeah, well, I'll have to remember to wish her a happy birthday tomorrow. It feels great. Yeah, I went to the bar this morning, but they're closed. I'm like, yo, bro, I just turned 21 today. What's going on here? Closed at 8.45 in the morning. I used the word balderdash. I was so angry. <laughs> I was like, they're closed. Balderdash. That's right, I'm 21 with 32 years experience. I've got 21 down pat. Like, any questions you have, I'm gonna have some good answers for you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, when do you use the word balderdash? You know what I mean? I had to throw it out there though, I was so angry. Person walking by on the sidewalk was like, they stopped and looked back at me kind of funny, and they're like, did you just say balderdash? I said, yeah. They're like, well, I think I need to use that today at work. I was like, no, I don't mind if you do. Why not? Can't hurt nothing.
Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Swede. What's happening, bro? Hope you're doing well today, Swede. The word of the day is Boulder Dash. That's right. <clears throat> I like it. All right, so that is the big field. Yeah, it's really good to see you guys. Hope you are all having an awesome uh, morning this morning. All right, that's uh, send the game invite. Copy that. We'll send the party and the game invite. Let's see here. Invite, oh, bro, are you kidding me? The game invite is grayed out. Ugh. All right, we're, well, we're early enough here, guys. Let me, shoot. Sweet, let me know if, if nothing shows up. Why is the freaking game invite grayed out? God dang it. Every time. I, it's been like 12 days I haven't seen that thing grayed out. Today has got to be the day it's grayed out. I may have to do a uh, BRB and restart it here, guys. Let's see. Hey, Swede. Mike, check. Mike, check. Can you hear me? Oh, one more time. Can you hear me? Hey, there we go. So is the is the game not showing up? Because it's grayed out on my end. It figures, right? It's been... nothing all right all right guys i'm going to do a brb here i will be right back Reopen. Susie Crafts. I don't know if you guys can hear me while I'm in the BRB screen in the chat. Okay, let's try this one more time. Okay. So let's get let's get our Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you for that, Susie. All right, we're going to we're reloading into the game here. Now, I'm hopeful that uh 
that we're good and we don't have to do a full reboot because that would that would stink Hey baby, we got everybody in the house today. It's good to see y'all. Come on, 85%. We're getting there. Yo, Gallo, what's up, buddy? Thank you for that. Appreciate it. All right, now let's take a look. Aha, success. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay. We're back in action. Oh, I noticed my screen has a little... It looks like... I have to go back in the overlay there. It looks like a very little bit at the top of the screen is showing like it's not covered let me refresh let me mute myself in the game here there we go yeah there's like a faint line at the top of the stream there you see that is that showing for you guys Oh, it's not showing for you guys. It's only showing on my dashboard. Okay. So then that's not... That's... Maybe it's just a dashboard thing. Cheered a thousand from Crazy. Thank you, bro. Oh, I appreciate that. Crazy B coming in. Awesome, awesome. Really appreciate you guys. Um, What was that uh, you were saying? Sweet. On the farm sim game screen. Okay. So am I, you, hmm. I don't. No worries, no worries. So I wanted to do something today, but I couldn't because of the, it was the last day of the month. So, what I wanted to do was I put something over here, and I was going to showcase it at nighttime so that you guys could see it, but I couldn't because it would have ended the month and we would have had a couple issues, but this here, now I know it's not perfect. But I wanted to try it out. So we have the lighted letters and numbers. So we put a big old Estancia Lapacho tree there. Big purple one. The wife's favorite color. CeeLo in the house. What's up, CeeLo? And these light up real bright at night. I don't know if you guys ever used them. But we figure we get the team. We get the team name at nighttime. It looks really cool. I have a couple lanterns off to the side here so you can see the tree a little bit but I figured I put it on there I didn't do anything major normally with something like this I would probably I might redo it at some point some point some point what am I thinking beer all right well I did turn 21 so I guess uh <laughs> what I might do at some point thank you even though I sounded like I had a pint already 
Um, I may put a little pond. Yeah, I might put a little pond right here. And then we'll dress this up a little bit and we'll put some, uh, you know, we'll put the Crusaders 2023. We'll, we'll jazz it up a little. So, but I figured I'd drop that in there so you guys could see that. Now we also, yeah, we also have our sugarcane harvest is ready for, uh, for a go. So let's see what, let me know what speed you're at when you do your uh, run. Seven. All right, let me drop down to seven. <laughs> Look at the distance on that. <laughs> there we go. Let's get right about here. There we go. Yeah, you could put a worker on that. Yeah. So we could put the worker in. Both of us can drive a dumpster. This way, when I pull away, you'll pull right up. I'll let you know. Well, I'll try to let you know when I'm at like 90% or so. All right, let me drop this down to six just to see if I can stay, not get so far ahead of them there. Nice tree. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool looking, right? At nighttime, like I said, I'll see if within the stream here we can uh, get to a nighttime and we'll show it to you. But it, it lights up pretty big, you know? I mean, it's not bad, so. Oh, and Swede, guess what we get to work on now? We have our... I bought that section over there in the last stream where we're going to put the cows and pigs. Ooh, hello. What, what happened? I don't know. Dude just stopped all of a sudden and then... I don't know, maybe he sneezed. You know, maybe he had a big old sneeze or took a sip of coffee. But yeah, so we have that section where the cows and pigs are going to be. So I have the uh, tree cutter over there ready to devour every tree. I have the plow finished on field one. Coffee. That's right. We have the field plowed where the corn harvest was done for the chaff. Uh, I did go over and clean up the... Um, what do you call it? Silage bunkers. So I have them ready for the next run. I do have the grass field was cut. And I did put the grass in the silo. So I figure, you know, if we need to use the grass to fill up the bunkers, we can. But I'm thinking we'll do another corn harvest. So, Crazy, I really appreciate that thousand biddies, bro. It means a lot to me, man. Thank you. You know what? Jump in the uh, harvester here, bro, so he doesn't go off the edge. We have to do a headland up here. Yeah, really, uh, I miss you guys. We got a, we got a, we got a lot going on the last, uh, few weeks. Everybody's like, it's got so many things happening. Sickness, work, school stuff, tax time, you know, it's like, we have so many things happening. Yeah, you had the doctor yesterday. Everything went well, I hope. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Well, sometimes those doctor visits, you know, they become uh, just like mentally exhausting.
Yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah, you have to, like, tune everything out. Hey, Billy, what's up, buddy? Good morning, Billy. Hope all is well. Uh, can't hear chat. Oh, hello. So you guys, you can't hear me? I just turned up my volume, and I came through really loud, actually. Good morning, crew. Nitro Frog, what's up, my friend? Oh, Sweet invited me to play farm soon. All right. See you, low. Thanks, Sweet. I'd play, but me and your brother, me and your brother are on the other map, so I'll have to join you later. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Oh, to add your, your, uh, to add your, your audio. Uh, go into party chat menu, and you should see a checkbox there. Interesting. Let me take a look and make sure we have party audio included. Aha, never mind. There it is. So when I did the reboot, yeah, when I did the reboot, it defaulted to off. There we go. Let's see if you have it now. Check, check. You should be good. Do a test. We got yeah. a test on Slow Sweet. Can you guys hear Sweet? Test, test. test. There, Everybody do to do, do doing today. Good morning. Hey, Nitro, it's great to see you, man. Everybody in chat, great to see you guys. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, they got you. Cool. So that's what Billy, I think, was talking about. He couldn't hear the party chat. Awesome, guys. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great start to your day. I want to thank you all for coming out and hanging with us. Hope we can help get you through your day yep thank you for the happy birthday message Vito much appreciated you know what's really weird guys we were in the stream the other day right and we had ended the stream with my follow count 1776 so now we start the stream today <clears throat> 1776 Today's my birthday. Tomorrow is the Mrs. birthday. And guess what year she was born? Not Same 1776, number. but 1976. So, yeah, it's just really weird how that number is just like, you know, just there like that. It's just, it's kind of weird. I have a thing with numbers sometimes. Happy birthday. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Gypsy King 93 coming in. What's happening, Gypsy? Welcome to the crew, bud. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for following. Come on in, Gypsy. Say, say a few things if you want. Let us know what brought you in the stream. Let us know if you're a farm sim player or maybe if you're thinking of getting the game. <clears throat> you just wanted to come in and check it out. And there goes follow 1777. <laughs> so we are on the other side. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yeah, after the stream today, the wife and I are going to head out and go grab uh, some, uh, like, grab an anniversary dinner brunch or dunch, I think is what we call it, right? Lunch and dinner. 
We call that Dunch now. Mikey's modding got, oh, what do we got? Nitro gave out a community sub gift. Awesome. Thank you for that, buddy. Much appreciated. And that one went over to Mikey's Motti. All right, whoa, I'm in 98%, bro. Okay, I have to stop. And we have stuff. another gifted sub. Yep, I'm at 100. He can stay there, I think. Yeah, he won't move. Yep, he'll yep. move when you come back. Yep. Okay, now, just so you're aware, <coughs> oh, Nitro gave out another sub. Thank you, brother. And that went over to Goldeneye. Birthday gifted subs for you and the missus. Thank you, Nitro. I really appreciate that, bro. Uh, I play Farm Sim 22 currently on Western Australia. Four-year-old kicked me off the PC. So, searching Twitch, stumbled across your channel. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Gypsy. All right, guys. So, if you take a look here, we just put down our sugar factory right over here because we need to start getting some sugar made for some things so this is a nice open area over here for us to uh, kind of do our thing it's a pretty big piece of uh, equipment we'll call it <coughs> so let's get our first offload Well, that's awesome, Gypsy. Yeah, those four-year-olds, they can do that stuff, bro. <laughs> I have four kids. They're they are older now. Um, two of them are still in high school, but, you know, they manage on their own. And, uh, yeah, I've been down that road, brother. I know what you mean. But that's great. Congratulations on the uh, four-year-old. And I appreciate you coming in, finding our channel, hitting that follow button. means a lot to me. And uh, we welcome you into our community here. So, yeah, appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much. <coughs> okay, that's all floated. Oh, okay, you got that, and I'll put this one over here, because you'll be a while. Okay, so let's do... Oh, I put that repair thing down too, Swede. I got everything repaired. Good. Yep, so we were able to get that taken care of. Yeah. Um. All right, I guess what I'll do is I could start cutting yeah. down some trees yeah. over here. So this area, guys, this is where we're going to put the cows and the pigs. Actually, this is almost full, too. I might as well just get another tree here, I guess, and get this filled up and get those chips gone. Yeah, so thank you very much for that, Nitro. That was really nice of you, man. Much appreciated. I'll let the missus know when she gets up. So, Striker, if you're still here, I heard... I think the missus mentioned yesterday that you may have picked up a new game don't know what it was I just I thought I heard her saying striker got that game but I I don't know what game she was referring to I'm assuming maybe Harry Potter is that a game if you're still there you may not be there I know you're probably working I assume it was probably Harry Potter <clears throat> I 
I don't see this thing blowing the chips in there. Was it? Did I miss it? Maybe I missed it. Yep. Because I was looking at chat. Yeah, it's not blowing the chips in there. That's interesting. So I guess 93% is the mark for yeah. wood chips. All right, well, we'll go bring these, and I'm thinking I'm going to switch out tractors. Is Don't this forget the... to fix the pipe. Yeah, because the, the horsepower on this tractor is... It's good, but with this many wood chips in the container, not so good. It just takes a while to get going, you know? So, actually, let's take a look at the cost, or the price number here for wood chips, maybe. I'll be right back. Yes, sir. Maybe we could sell these straight away. Wood chips, eh. A little under. I think January was our number, uh, was our month to get the good price. So I guess we'll have to go and put these away. I will go and check our productions because we may need wood chips. Uh, what are we looking for? Slurry. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nothing in there. And let's see. Um, yeah, so we have to fill up, we're going to have to fill up our slurry production center. Let's do that first. And those take, I think it was 300,000 liters. So each trailer load, we'll be able to almost fill that up to the top. <coughs> Like I said, I think I'm going to swap out tractors real quick here first. Okay, let's... Nope, don't want that. Let's do that. And we'll get this one put away. Now, I did switch out the tires on these tractors here. So, um, what was I doing? Switched them out for something. I forget what I was doing. Oh, when I was doing the grass. So, I switched them out just to, not that it makes a difference in the game. I know in real life they will. Um... When I was watching some real farmers, I noticed that the real big fat tires they wouldn't use on their fields when they were doing their harvest because they don't want the tire running over, you know, the, the crops and stuff like that. So when I was doing the grass, I, uh, I put the thinner tires on. Not that it's, like I said, it doesn't affect anything in, in the game. But I figured it'd be, you know, just to change things up a little bit. Now let's see if we're going to be able to maneuver this the way we want to. Okay. All right, wood chips going. We have um, the sugar beet field, I believe, was the field that we're plowing. And the field one with the corn harvest was done, plow. So 
we're going to get ready here pretty soon to get our fields prepped up. Oh, let's uh, get this out. You know what I should do? I should get a roller going on that grass field. Yeah, I'll take that McCormick trailer. We'll go get the roller set up. We'll get the headland down here, then we'll send it up. So what's new with you guys today? Oh, we got an ad coming up in about 10 seconds, guys. So what's new with everybody? Anything happening today? You have anything new for uh, this week or this weekend coming up? Nitro, you should have, what, is today your last, today your last day off, Nitro? I know you had like a, like a little mini vacation here, if I remember correctly. Are you already back? He's good. Let's send this guy back. Uh, we'll send him right there. Okay. Yeah, so here's what we did with our bunkers. So we kind of, you know, pushed everything from the front to the back. Yo, Buddha, what's up, buddy? Happy birthday, old man. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. And then we started on this one over here, and then I got tired. So we'll have this one that will kind of push a little bit more toward the back there. But we had that going the other day. And let's go back out and start getting some more trees cut down. How things going for you, Buddha?
You're going to have some, uh, lunch with the sun in a couple of hours? Oh, good for you, Susie. How you doing, chat? Crew, we're doing great, my friend. Doing great. Pretty good. Feel nice and rested. There you go, bud. Oh, Susie, that's great. Well, I'm glad that you're going to be able to chill with the sun. You guys can have some uh, Hogwarts conversation. Bye bye. Hey, welcome back, Mr. Swede. Thank you, thank you. Alright. Let's go. We'll take this area here, continue on this one, get this out of here. section. We'll get all these tree trees cleared out. Thanks for the invite to the club, by the way. That's pretty cool. Yeah, what we got here? problem no problem cuz <laughs> so I just saw there's two clips in Discord, one from Buddha, one from Big Vito. We got the uh an old lady. She's blowing out some candles there and Well, let's just say her dentures just went flying out. Launched a pickup into a house. It was so fun. Oh wow, okay. And then uh the other one there that Vito put up is uh, Young Boy. It looks like maybe a baseball game is just, he's just getting jiggy with it big time. Oh, yeah, the club, the, um, the Crusader Club on Xbox. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't even know about that club stuff until, what's it about, maybe six months now? And I saw it one day, my son mentioned something about it, and I was like, I don't know, what's this club stuff? So I was like, yeah, what the heck, we'll put something together, see if people want to come in and, you know, if they want to post some things and, you know, reach out to folks in the club, get together, play a game if they want or whatever, so... Yeah, that kid's getting down, bro. He, <laughs> I don't know if he caught a foul ball or they're just playing some good music, but he is, he's just tearing it up. He's like, yo, I'm ready, man. Let's do this. Said, I ain't got time to wait for people. So that's the little stump that's gonna. <clears throat> so some of these little stumps, they want you to come at them from another angle, which is always, Honey. Yep, 
There you go. Oh, snap. What's up, Reaper? So I was just informed this is the stream that's giving away an Xbox. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if I can get me a nice upgraded PC, you know, we could probably make that happen, Reaper. <laughs> Exclamation point, join Xbox giveaway. That's awesome. How you doing, Reaper? It's great to see you, man. Hope you're doing amazing. I was uh, went in the street, uh, Reaper stream the other day and I just remember him saying, yo, man, I'm getting ready. I've been smelling this dinner all day. I got pains in my stomach from sucking in all these beautiful food fumes, and it's about time for me to get going, man. Got to get some eats. <laughs> Doing good? Awesome, brother. There's a shout-out for Reaper. Reaper's a uh, member of the SGA team, guys, if you uh, didn't know. Uh, you know, the SGA and Rough Riders, everybody, they've been coming out and really supporting the channel, and I really appreciate them all. And if uh, you guys are interested, we do have a link that will pop up every, I think it's 20 minutes uh, for SGA. They have a lot of uh, maps that, you know, some folks were uh, talking about the other day in our stream. So I told Billy and, and those guys that if they want, you know, we can put the links up in the chat. So... They'll run static every 20 minutes. So if you catch them, uh, please go ahead and check it out. They have awesome maps over there. Uh, you know, if you're if you're a real serious PC farm sim player, uh, you're going to want to take a look because they got some really cool stuff. And they have a uh, contest map that they put together. And they run some contests against each other. So... You know, head on over and go check things out. Where'd that piece go? I think it's right there. So, yeah, go on over. But it's great to see you, Reaper. Appreciate you coming out, man. I hope you're enjoying your day. Tell everybody, family there, that we said hello from over here at the crew. Yeah, so we just purchased this land over here, guys. So we're just going to... Get all the trees cut down. This is going to be our um, cow and pig farm area. We can get this tree to cut down. That'd be even better. How you making out, Swede? I'm doing good. Awesome, bro. Swede's working on our sugarcane harvest. Same here. I'm enjoying it. I'm off because of Mardi Gras. Oh, no kidding. Mardi Gras. Oh, cool, bro. Oh, you guys will be having some fun today. That's awesome. Well, congrats and good luck with the Mardi Gras celebration. Fat Tuesday. Yeah, baby. trees that leave those uh, pieces behind. Yeah, see, it's like it cuts it then never cuts that last little piece. It's always like, nope, not today. Hang on. Like I said, you just got to approach it at a different angle and then it goes bye-bye. So, not a big deal, but slight, slight annoyance. Feel like those chips aren't moving again. We're at ninety percent. Tell you what, let's go offload.
already on that like flies on poop. <laughs> Now, Swede, that sugarcane field, we should have one more harvest for that, if I remember correctly. I think we get, is it three out of sugarcane, or do we get two? I think it's three sugarcane, right? Two out of poplar, or is it the other way around? Because that's our second harvest, so we should, yep kind of figured this guy was going to have a problem i find those triggers on that wood implement is all yeah yeah there's a couple things it works well but there are a couple things that should be tightened up on it for sure i agree reaper yeah because if if i think we have one more left this way you know we don't have to uh plow you know turn that over that field the other two fields we had to because they don't regrow all right let's get this stuff repaired get it put away is that yuri swede in discord with you Yuri Swede? Uh, no, I always cut the tree, raise it, drive over. Yeah, exactly. That's what I did, but it wasn't cutting it when it was in the down position. So I had to raise it up. But then we're having an issue with the silage boss. Um, where'd the other plow go? Do you have the plow, Swede? Oh, no, you know what? I'm sorry. I put this plow away last time right before we had the problem with getting in. So I had to reset it. So, yeah, that didn't save. That's why that's not there. I know it's two different Swedes. Yeah, so Yuri Swede is not the Swede that's in the headset with me and, and in the game. That's uh, Slow Swede. Yuri Swede, I don't think I know Yuri Swede. I'm back. Yep, slow is with me. Welcome back there, Mr. Sweet. You, thank you. Yeah, Yuri, I don't think I know Yuri Sweet, but I do know uh, the slow Sweet, and that's who's in the headset with me and who's on the farm. Mr. Reaper was asking which Sweet was here. It's he me. He knows Yuri Sweet, and he knows <laughs> you. So he's like, which it's one we got? Me. <laughs> It's only All me. Right, so let me double check because I think they should be. Yeah, I thought he was going to be done plowing. All right, I'm going to leave this plow here because I, if anybody in chat remembers, the silage boss and the forage pickup seem to have an issue where it won't fill. Yep. Yeah, exactly, Buddha. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Susie, that's what I want to figure out. We have to. If, does anyone, does anybody remember, <laughs> without fail, <laughs> the sugarcane, does sugarcane give you two or three harvests? Because if it's only two, then we're going to have to turn the ground over. If it is three, then we're going to leave it, because this is our second harvest. And then poplar, uh, do we remember what poplar does? Is it? So it is three, okay. And it's three for both. Awesome. Yeah. That's good. So then we can just harvest both. I think and let the it regrow. silo is full. We should be, 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 be. Okay, good. The factory, you mean? Yep. Okay. The factory, not the silo, right? And set the factory. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. I'll just double check. Uh -huh. Okay, sounds good. 
All right, so that means we have one more harvest then for each of those. We're still waiting for poplar to mature. Uh, let's see. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, it's funny. The silage boss, it's got some weird numbers. So when we did the grass, it was done at 73%. It wouldn't load in, in like any more than 73% on the uh you know on the collection of the grass which is odd but it is what it is and now it seems like for trees we're at about 90 percent so yeah it's kind of weird but you know it is what it is we'll we'll work through it steve-o hey dilly yeah, dilly oh neighborinos what's up buddy i think if they I did the periodic plowing Big Vito, I was setting up my auto SO with FASA. Okay, cool. Yeah, because it's still not working. <clears throat> yeah, because Gallo came in, right? And it should have did an auto shout out for him, and it didn't do it. How are you, Steve-O? Great to see you, my friend. What was that, sweet? Yeah, sad. If they did the pipe longer, maybe to fix the issue. Well, you know what I think the issue is? Because this pipe will work in all the other trailers, just like yeah. the forage wagon. It's, it's uh, in my opinion, and maybe uh, some of the SGA folks, Vito, you know, some other guys, they may know. Um, I think it's the silage boss. There's probably something in the file that activates something to make it fill up, right? Some kind of, uh, I don't know, spawn point, we'll call it, for lack of a proper term. And they probably need to set that at the very front of the trailer and then have it all the way to the back. Sort of like fit to page, right? They probably yeah. have to do that. This way, no matter where the pipe moves, it sees that that's a fill point like a fill trigger, I guess, if you will, yeah. right? So I imagine when a modder but puts that together, they have to make sure that that fill trigger is stretched out to fit, you know, 80%, 90%, 100% of the trailer so that no matter where the pipe goes, it recognizes it and, you know, does what it's supposed to do. That's my guess, my uned uneducated so the opposite of a hypothesis <laughs> is that code word for something about my mama I hope not because that wouldn't be good would it Reaper that would be bad that'd be very very bad <laughs> big veto said yes it is <laughs> Come on, drop down. Nope. This one's not wanting to cut. Okay. So we'll have to stump grind that one like we had to do the other one on the other field. get a lot of wood chips here bro we're gonna get yeah, some good money cute. off of these we'll have to wait till january but it's okay it actually might work out good because it'll give us time to get this prepped and then what we can do is we can use the money that we get from these wood chips to buy the cow barns and pig pens and all that good stuff yeah we also have to drop a greenhouse or two 
to uh, get strawberries going for those cakes. Okay. Yo, Jinx, what's up? Enduro in the house, too. What's up, Enduro? Farmers, what's up, Jinx? How are you, pal? There's our Crusader teammates we got here. We got, what, Big Vito, Mr. Swede, Jinx, Gallo, um, Crazy. So we got a lot of, there goes Nexus. Nexus is in the house. Yeah, see, Nexus came in and no auto shout out, so... Yeah, something there. On your lunch break, cuz. All right, sounds good. Good to see you, bro. <clears throat> hey, Jinx, I almost got my, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, um, campaign done last night. An important plowing option is that you'll have to plant sugarcane again after preparing for us. Fertilize the field. Yep, sure can, but it's the same. Nice. Thank you for that, Susie. Yeah, I was I was on fire last night too, Jinx. I had some good, uh, some really good matches. Oh, Jinx, I tried to get a clip of so you don't have to replant if you have correct. Yep. Yeah, so we do have periodic plowing on, um, but we will get three harvests out of sugarcane before we have to actually do the plowing again. So uh, after this harvest, we'll have one more that we'll be able to get. And then we'll have we'll do a, uh, you know, we'll have to see where we're at with sugarcane at that point. When I get off work today, I'll message you. Thank you for the SO. Cowboy's in the house. Another teammate of ours. How are you, Cowboy? Great to see you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. It's just raised above the ground. Wait, so after sugarcane, how do I get it to grow again without prepping and seeding? So it'll it'll just, just regrow for you. So, let me take you over here. So, if you take a look at the poplar field, I need field, to right? run to the kitchen again. Okay. So, this poplar field here, which we did miss a fertilizing stage on it, um, we cut this, and then, you know, you just let it regrow. You guys were here when we did the harvest over here. Um, we just let this sugar cane regrow. Wait, did we do that or did we replant the sugar cane? We didn't replant it because it should grow again, right? Yeah, it grows on its own. I'm good. Happy B-Day to you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Enduro. What's up, dude? Hollywood? <laughs> What's up, Hollywood? How you doing, cuz? Good to see you. So that's interesting that that tree is, uh, that tree's not going to want to do anything. It's separated from the ground. That's probably why. Let's see if, if it'll let us. Happy birthday, crew. Hope you have an awesome day. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Okay. Now that we just crushed our tractor. This will be a treat. Getting this off of here. Wow, I have wasted a lot of time prep. Happy birthday. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, I think um, I'm almost certain on that one. We did not do a replant. 
uh, the poplar we didn't, because I think I remember Vito being in the party with us that day. We were in Discord or something. And you don't see it right away, because it's got to go through that uh, process, you know what I mean? There we go. And I don't think we're going to be able to do anything with that stump. I'll have to do the stump grinder for that. But yeah, the poplar and the sugar cane, they're just going to regrow, and you should get three regrowths for that. We're working on our second on both of them. And let's see, we'll try this uh, stump again. But yeah, I'm thinking we're going to have to use the stump grinder. Let's see, because this isn't reading it. Yeah, because it's not connected to the ground, I think. It's not going to read that. If anyone is unsure about farming FS, there are two tutorials. Yep, on the Giants website. Exactly. Uh, that's part of the other field. Okay. Let's see if this is part of the other field. Yep. Okay. I did finish the campaign yesterday. Nice work and got you pulled up to help viewer count. Oh, I appreciate that, Hollywood. Thank you very much, brother. Good to see you. Appreciate that lurk. Let's get a parting shout out or a lurk shout for Mr. Hollywood, please. Uh, let's just go over here. We'll grab these easy ones. Get them out of the way. again. This last one here I think we'll do and then we'll go take this offload it. Yeah, so Jinx, I wanted to uh, mention to you. So yesterday I'm on World of Warships and I don't know if you've ever had this happen, but I had it happen yesterday. It's first time. So uh, I'm up against a Massachusetts and I'm in the Turpins no I was in the Kansas and this guy in the Massachusetts him and I are throwing shells at each other and you know wearing each other down and we had fairly similar health I think I was maybe about 30,000 hit points left he may have been just underneath me with that and he's closing in on me and I noticed that he wants to ram me at this point right we had I think it was 4v4 at the time and he's just closing in and I turn my ship so now he's his bow is at my stern and he's a little faster than my ship so he's catching up to me just as he's about to hit the tail of my ship, I turn, and now my ship angle is maybe like 10 degrees. 
So instead of him hitting the stern of my ship and we both explode, he just, next thing you know, he's just riding alongside of my ship. We're, we're, we're touching. You can hear the metal clanging against each other in, in the game sound. And I turn the other direction and now the stern of my ship is pushing his bow outward so I go back the other way he comes back toward me I turn my guns I get a shot into him because we were so close I overpenned for the most part and then uh, I took maybe one bar off of him and then I guess he tried to reconnect with me again and his ship blows up after touching my stern again I didn't lose any health, and I got credit for, I don't know, 28, 29,000 or whatever he had. Oh, it was hilarious, bro. I was like, what in the hell? I've never seen that. Never had that happen to me. Typically, whenever you touch, you know, another ship in the game, the enemy, you'll blow up. As long as their hit points, I think they usually have to be within like a certain percentage of what the the person like you're hitting in order to get the kill or else you both blow up but yeah jinx it was the wildest thing man i couldn't believe it i mean we were literally two times our ships touched and nothing happened all you would hear in the in the game sound was the metal clanging together Yeah, it was messed up because when I hit record, it just didn't go back far enough to capture the whole thing. Yeah, now have you ever had it though where two ships have actually touched and stayed in contact with each other and they didn't blow up? That's what I found kind of interesting how, you know, we were able to rub metal together there and nothing happened. Yeah, see, that's what I found. Ah, that's why I wanted to record it. But our interaction took so long. By the time, you know, he blew up and I hit record, it was too late. It didn't capture enough. All it captured was like the last second uh, of where he blew up. But yeah, it was wild, dude. It was for... We were back and forth behind, where he was behind my ship for about four, uh, no, not that long, maybe two and a half minutes. And yeah, but it was funny because he blows up and I lost no health when he died. But yet I got all his hit points. So I was like, okay, I'll take that. BRB, copy that, Vito. And we got an ad rolling up here, guys. Uh, 1028. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Let's lower, turn this on. Yep. Let me just check. Do I not own this land here? Yeah, I own it. Okay, so. Turn off, pipe in. Left wood chip. Why do we have. 
that wants it higher for that. That's what happened on that other tree. All right. Well, we got a lot of work to do with the uh, stump grinder. Some of these trees just don't want to come down. Want to do it the old fashioned way, I guess. Fair enough. Back, sir. In there for the missus. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, some of these stumps, bro, they just don't just don't want to do their thing. They're a little stubborn today. Normally in the down position, you know, we're we're golden. Yeah, have you lower the front end low? Raptor. That helps. Uh, let's see. I could also try that. And left trigger, I think. Right. Of course, I have that issue too. And I lower the front. Those tractors works better. Yeah, it's all the way down. Be up. Bye. Right. Welcome back, Vito. Yeah, this is going to be some good area over here. We're going to hopefully be able to get a decent amount of uh, stuff going over here. And we might even be able to... I have to think about where we should put the greenhouses. We have to get those going. so we can get that supplied. Um, do any of you guys remember, is there a set of greenhouses um, actually, no. Never mind, I already know the answer to that. So I'm good. Welcome back, big. Yep, yep. Yeah, these birch trees just wants it up high for some reason.
These trees are very temp. Hey, Mikey boy, what's up, buddy? These trees are very temperamental over here today. <laughs> yeah. You just you don't want to be bothered. I knew. How things going for you, Mikey boy? interesting wow you see that I'm trying to raise you see that guys I'm trying to raise the header of the wood chipper it goes in the ground and it kicks up the ass end of the tractor see lower wood chipper right and then lift the wood chipper look at that that's something. So it's getting stuck on something right there. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Alright. Let's move around. Get that little piece. So how things going for you today, Mikey? everything's going well doing great just getting some laps in on NASCAR oh nice yeah I would like to get in on some uh, NASCAR I've been very disappointed with uh, NASCAR heat four I just don't like the uh, season mode just seems I don't know. It's been a mess trying to get my cars to 100% every single time. You know, I do, I have all my mechanics maxed out. I have the garage maxed out. But every time I finish a race, you know, it gives you the, you know, like how much wear and tear you had on there, right? That's why I deleted that mod. It has a few things that need to be reworked. Yeah, I agree. Reaper. I agree, buddy. But, uh, yeah, so I can never get all the cars to 100%. So when I go into a race, you know, some of the... Coming in with the lurk. Thank you, Big V. Let's give Big V another shout-out, please. Um, yeah, just like... I don't know. It's just been very problematic, so... We, uh, yeah, we said, all right, you know, that's it. I'm done with NASCAR Heat 4 for now. Cause, you know, there's a lot of races that I'm in contention, but on the straightaway, everybody's just getting through me. In the turns, I'm able, you know, when I can catch up to them. On the turns, I'm, I'm taking them. You know, I'm able to dip down underneath most folks, get in tight on the turn. Then as soon as we hit out of the turn, my car just doesn't have the ponies to stay ahead. Everybody winds up passing me. And then eventually, once they get a big draft going, that's it. You know, they leave me in the dust. But yeah, it's become problematic because I worked really hard to get <coughs> enough money to max everybody out. You know, to max out my garage. And I still can't get all the vehicles to 100%. I think the best I'm getting is like 92, 93. So, yeah, kind of kind of took the wind out of my sails. Because I enjoy playing NASCAR. Um, but, you know, 
What are you gonna do, right? Yo, HC, you coming in with the follow. What's up, buddy? Thank you for hitting that follow button. Appreciate you. Welcome into the crew. I hope you're doing amazing. Come on in, buddy. Let, let us know a little bit about yourself. If you're a farm sim player or, you know, what brought you into the stream. I thank you very much. You should have a round of applause coming up here in a moment. head back <clears throat> get some more trees cut so if you're new here uh, we are playing on the green river 22 map uh, we've been at it uh what maybe since mid to late December um, myself and mr. slow Swede who's in the headset with me and in the game with me we uh, yeah, we have a lot of work. We have the whole, the whole left side here purchased. We have these fields in the northwest corner purchased. Actually, field 13 I can sell back because we were only, we only grabbed that field to get rid of the trees actually right in this area here so we can sell that back because we're not going to be doing anything there yet our goal is to get two three and four and then five through well one two through eight essentially and then we just bought this area here 43 that's what i'm cutting now that's where we're going to put our she uh cows in our pig farm how's everyone doing out there we're doing great cowboy Dripping swag. Yo, what's up, man? How you doing, cuz? First time chat. Appreciate you coming in there, swag. So what I'm doing is just clearing out the trees. And then we'll get our, you know, our landscaping going on. Yo, Drippin', thank you for that follow, brother. Means a lot to me, man. Great to see you. Come on in. Hang with us. Let's, uh... Let's see if this is gonna... It should let me out, right? Oh, yeah, it might. Yeah, they're big enough. Okay. All right, we'll take it. Boom. See ya. Uh, I saw you in chat watching Dave's competition map live, so checked out. Oh, I appreciate that, HC. Thank you very much, buddy. there's your round of applause for you swag thank you for the message Gallo and Vito uh, let's hit up this way we'll work our way to the front hey HC man I appreciate that buddy those dollies are amazing unless you need to back up absolutely <laughs> yeah once you go to back up you're like uh oh so yeah we try desperately to make sure we keep things 
uh, moving forward, if you will, right? But, yeah, I appreciate you guys coming out and uh, checking out the channel. Hitting that follow button means a lot to me. Just trying to do our thing here. But, yeah, we got this feet, this uh, sector or section, if you will, uh, that we're going to put our cow farm. Well, depending. We have 1,000. We can get 1,000 cows. So we may do two and do two cows pig uh, styes and then we'll go from there notice I call them pig styes uh, th can I can I get down yet I've been hanging for ages and my arms are getting sore <laughs> tired of hanging huh it's like yo man I'm, I got that lactic acid building up here bro I need, I need some retrieval That's why we got that, that Gatorade drip. It's on your back. You just got to just pull the straw over. You'll be good. Maybe we'll just get you a little massage. Massage those arms a little bit. That'll give you a few, a few more minutes. How you making out, sweet? Only a thousand cows? Yeah, to start. Yeah, I don't think we're in the competition for the 75 or 7700 that you have, but I don't know. We may have to do something like that. Keep it interesting. Sweet and I always love doing challenges. For those of you that weren't a part of our 10 mil challenge, man, that was a... That was a fun uh, scenario. Of course, that's not going to. Yeah. Yeah, he can send some over if he needs. Yeah, absolutely. We may have to uh, think about that somewhere in the future. You know, do some large numbers with the animals. We'll have to see what the game will support. Poot is going to be putting that number to a test. He's already probably, he might even be close to 800 by now. Or 800, 8,000. Right, Buddha? Did you hit eight grand yet? Definitely think I'm calling like 800 caffeine. I got gotcha. you. All right, very good. So HC, are you, uh, do you play farm sim on the regular? How about you, Swag? 
You guys play farm sim a lot? Uh, let's take a look here. Do I want? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cut these down because I'm just gonna do my own thing with this water over here. I like to kind of customize. Yeah, got a server on PS4. Nice, nice. Good for you, man. Good for you. What map are you playing, uh, Swag? Hey, you see that tree there? That looks like that one's floating too. Yep, it's not going to do anything. Let's get this piece. We'll cut that with the chainsaw. Oh, Bailaron. Nice. I'm taking the disc off, or the DLCs off my Welker save, so me and Cole do MP on it. I need help. I have too much stuff to move. <laughs> or however you, Yeah, no, I know what you meant. Yep. What was that, sweet? I'm at the last pass. Last pass. Oh, for the sugar cane? Nice. Yes, sir. What do we have here? Oh, big old hunk of wood. Okay. about that that green there isn't that something yep. don't fall on the tractor yep it's every time so far Tell you what, I'm gonna go out on this edge here. We'll get this birch. Get those other two, and we'll grab that one on the way out. So how uh, how things going on your alt bailaron? You got a lot to do on that Welker, huh, Buddha? Gamer Penguin in the house. What's up, Gamer? How you doing, buddy? I was digging at Valheim, man. Yeah, Valheim's such a fun game. Let's get a shout out for Gamer Penguin, if we could, please. Gamer Penguin was just on streaming earlier. He had some Valheim going. Yeah, I can't wait. Uh, Valheim's supposed to be coming in on uh, Xbox, hopefully, this year. And hopefully not too far from now. I haven't been on Valheim in, gosh. I can't even remember. It's got to be over six, seven months. Maybe even more than that. Doing well, thanks. And yeah, already think about the second boss. Never got this far before. Nice. 
Over 10 million milk and 8 million slurry to haul. Plus TMR. Oh, nice. Not the best map, but ain't a whole lot of room for mods. Well, you know what's interesting, um, Swag? So, Aunt Bailaron was the first map I went on when the game launched. And I'm going to be honest with you. I, I don't have the save anymore. But I, I went crazy on it with the mods. Like, I, I reconfigured so many things on there, it wasn't even funny. I put an industrial center in. Like, it was, yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty crazy, man. We had a good time, but it didn't last long because the multiplayer for it was kicking our tail. So we didn't get an opportunity to play it on a uh, consistent basis. Okay, so let's see. You know what I think I'm going to try real quick? Let's go over here. And I'm going to purchase this field to try and get rid of these trees over here. Uh, let's empty this out. Second boss. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, I think, I think when we were done, I know we took care of the two bosses. I don't think we ever went to the third boss by the time we finished things up. And I really get caught in that game with uh, the collecting of resources and then just trying to get all the gear leveled up. You know what I mean? Like, that was, that was my big thing, just working on that and then uh, yeah we finished the second boss because the first one is the giant deer right I'm trying to remember what the second boss was and then we went into this area um, the plains maybe it's called and holy crap bro we were getting our ass kicked over there and everything. I know, I do the same thing. Oh my god. I, I was making more buildings to put all the stuff I collected than I was for people to actually live in. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what the second one was. But I, I just can't recall. Yo, Swag, thank you for the bits, bro. I really appreciate that, buddy. It means a lot. Thank you. All right, so we'll offload this, and then what I'll do is I'll get the stump grinder. I'll bring this over, then I'll shoot over, go get the stump grinder. Yeah, it's just, it's such a fun game. And I saw they put, um... Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lord on Game Pass. I actually was going to go in and play that the other day, but I was like, nope, let's chill. I got Red Dead we were running. I got Hogwarts. I got Warships. I did some Diablo 3 yesterday. And I think, um, I think Mufasa posted something in his Discord uh, possibly yesterday that I think today or yesterday was the last day for season 27 uh, on Diablo 3. So I would imagine in about two weeks they're going to have season 28 hit for those of you that are Diablo 3 players. And we're just, you know, making that, that long wait for June 5th to get here to hit up some Diablo 4. So please, once again, guys, exclamation point Discord. If you're interested in playing Diablo 4, uh, 
I'm hoping to get, you know, a, a group together where we can, you know, run a full squad. Um, cause I plan on streaming that. So if anybody's going to do that, hit me up in the discord. It's supposed to be cross play. So we should be able to play together no matter what platform you're on. Uh, if you're on PC or PlayStation, it'll be a good opportunity for us to test it out uh, in the stream. This way people will be able to see, you know, how you join, how you invite, and if it'll work, period, right? So just let me know if you plan on getting the game. I missed Mufasa's stream today, too. He was giving away some free copies of the game. I was really hoping to get in there and by the time I got home and got everything squared away, I clicked on him and he was gone. He was done. All right, let's get to Stump Grinder. Where you is? Where you is? Right there. Let's lease that. And I think we're going to grab the tree be gone again, just in case. Things don't work out the way we wanted. Later, guys. Back to work. All right, Jinx. Take care, my friend. Let's get a parting shout out for Jinx, please. So y'all done there, Swede? Yeah. Nice. Sugar cane is finito. So I'm thinking we, what, probably have to weed and drop furt would be my guess over there. Need them plow. Well, we don't need to plow yet, right? Because it doesn't have another growth. Have a great one. Yep, there we go. Got whoops. Hello. Almost hit that. All right. Let's hope that this works. And then if this works, I'll go ahead buy that field. We'll take those other trees out. It yo bro Valky, what's up, cuz? How you doing? What's good, yo? How are you, man? Welcome in. Good to see you. Hope everything's going well. Where am I from? I am from the U.S., uh, born and raised in Philly, South Philly, Southwest Philly area. And uh, my wife and I and the rest of the family live in a suburb outside of Philadelphia about, eh, you catch it on a good day, you can, you can get downtown Philly in about 25, 30 minutes. I'm not too far from the International Airport in Philly, if anybody's been there. Oh, hello. Let's go here first. So we'll try to tree be gone first. See if that's going to work. And see ya. <laughs> doing good? How about, oh, we're doing great. We got an ad coming up, guys. And you know what? I'm just going to get rid of these. I don't care about the chips on, on these stragglers here. Let's just get rid of them. Yeah, there we go. And let's see. We'll clean up this edge over here. Let's see if it'll... Yep. Take those out. Yep, there we go. Because we got poplar, so I'm not going to... I'm not going to worry about it too much. Didn't want to take the birch. There we go. Alright, and... Let's see if it'll let me take this, because this will be a good spot for an opening right here. You know what I mean? We could put a secondary opening there if we wanted. Maybe, maybe we could even put a uh, fence up. We could put a, like a power gate there if we want. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, never get ads. Your accent isn't too Philly. I'm from... Montana. Okay. Very good. Well, welcome in, Montana. Appreciate you coming in. 
I hope uh, I hope you find us to be uh, entertaining, or at least you know, in playing the game, you find find us playing the game to your liking. So let's see. Without buying the field, let's see if it's going to. Oh yeah, here we go. it's not saying there we go now it's got it oh this is the old way the way Sweden and I had to do things on Western Wilds there we go okay all right I'm okay with that that's working AI has stopped working target is unreachable Okay, that's clear. Feel like well we'll see more once we yeah, here we go. I thought there was something over here. Now once we put uh what I might do is drop concrete down first, because that'll actually show us uh any imperfections with the trees. So let's do this. Let's turn that off. Your accent it. Yep. Yeah, no, I appreciate you guys coming in and Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there we go. That's that little glitch. That's awesome. Look at that. Talk about a PTO. Yeah, straight out of South Philly, Southwest Philly. My wife's from Southwest. Um, I grew up, right, uh, if you guys were ever in the area, at a place called the Auto Mall on Pashunk Avenue. I grew up a block away from that. Right over the bridge into South Philly. Maybe I've been out of Philly too long, or maybe we just got to make sure we don't sound too much like the old neighborhood. Yeah, there we go, see? So some of that stuff will show up for us. There we go, so it looks like we're good. Right up to there. I've heard Pats and Genos are across the street from each other. They are. And... I will tell you that all the hype about Pats and Genos is a bunch of crap. I've eaten it both, and they're probably two of the most disgusting places to get a cheesesteak that you'll ever find. <laughs> it's all, you know what it is, it's when you see the stuff on TV, it's easy to make a big deal out of them because of the history that they have. I mean, they've been around forever, so there's no disputing that. Um, they they're right across the street from each other. They have a uh, you know a friendly uh, relationship. You know, they there's no, no there's no problems with anybody there. You know what I'm saying? But it's real easy because whenever they have sporting events, all the cameras want to go to Pat's and Geno's, so they get popular. Uh, and they get a lot of uh, press that way. But from somebody who's eaten there, it, they're, yeah, it's, it's, you can find much better in the area. They just, uh, it's, you know, it's a lot of hype. I mean, it is what it is. You know, there's a lot of places that sell cheesesteaks and some of them suck and some of them are great. And just for my taste, they're they're on the uh, they're on the sucky list. Too greasy. I don't like yellow cheese on a cheesesteak. Is not cheesesteak in my opinion. And uh, yeah, you know, but they serve their purpose. You know, they do their thing.
it's like anything else though it's you know if if they satisfy your your taste buds then you're going to love them and you're going to go there and you're going to enjoy it right but for me i'm just i just don't like that kind of cheesesteak and there are other foods too i eh, i'm just not a not a fan i've tried eight ball crew is food thinking time i think so absolutely says the eight ball eight ball said i think you're right i just love that that little glitch there with that pto that thing's amazing look at that all right let's just drive around here make sure we got all the little pieces because I did see yep there we go all right I'll have to hit those with grass they'll come up when we put the grass paint down everything here looks good see we should be able to drive through this yes all right good oh, hello. something over here okay something here this is why i do this guys because you'll see all this stuff so much better uh with the concrete down because <coughs> If you go and let's say we were going to plow this and turn it into a field, then your plow gets stuck on there and yeah, it'll just be a nightmare for you. So it's best to just take that opportunity, just zip around, take a couple minutes, right? Find some of the pieces that you may not have seen, kind of blend it in with the grass. Just make sure you're clean you don't want to go out too far because sometimes if you zoom out too far then you can't see them so I think that might be good guys okay we'll turn off the header on this let's see so all right, for now, I'm just going to move these out the way. I'll put them across the road here. Could get rid of them, but I just want to make sure we're good until uh, before I get rid of them. All right, let's just drop that there. Put this up ahead. Gamer Penguin, going to lurk because heading out to work. All right, brother, no worries, my friend. Gamer Penguin, you take care. Let's get Gamer Penguin a, a uh, shout-out, please. Thanks again, Gamer. You have a wonderful uh, rest of your day. Um, be good, be safe at work, and we'll see you again, brother. get this off the lot and now we'll take a look and see let's see how are we gonna want to <coughs> approach setting this up let's take a peek here all right so first let's just go ahead and put the grass down How you making out, Swede? Put a worker on field. All 
All right, let's just cut that in. And now we can go big. And let's see. Yeah, we'll do this like this for now. Let's fill this in. Let's just get this border. No. So if I get too close to that field, it won't let me paint it. All right, let's try and stay right there. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. See how I wouldn't paint, wouldn't get rid of that little bit there. Uh, let's see. Nope. Let's see if we put the grass. I wonder if this is going to act like the, um, what was it, those branches we always had to deal with, Swede? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So just like when you get branches on the ground, sometimes you'll come across pieces like this where they're not going to they're not going to disappear, right? When you put the paint down. So what you guys want to do is take your grass, put your grass over it. Why it's like that? No idea, um, but you know, it is. Yeah, here we go. Get this filled in. Can you put work on the? Oh, you're not able to do the worker. Yeah. What am I putting it on? The weeder. Yeah, the weeder is on there. Okay. I did a headlock. Not there. Cool beans. And then what you'll do is just go over the area that you put the grass on with the, you know, paint, whatever you want to use. In this situation, it doesn't have to be the grass, right? You could put whatever you want. If you want to put concrete. In this case, though, because we're going to do dirt over here, I'm just going to cover this all in grass. And then that'll remove those pieces for you. Because then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put dirt down. i got to figure out if we're going to do double entranceways, one on one side, one on the other. We're going to, you know, definitely put the uh, decorations down, the pig, pig barns down, and all that good stuff. All right. So there we go. That's all filled in. So obviously... We have this entrance way right here, which that's going to remain. So what we'll do here is we'll put dirt and then let's take a look at where we would want the other entrance way. See, because what I'm planning on doing potentially is when we buy this field I may cut this off right here and then this section to the left and then this will become another part of 
what we're going to do because then this field will then merge with this field. So that in itself will make up for what we're losing over here. But I'm not sure yet. It really depends on what kind of room we need because there's a chance we could keep that as part of the field too. So good place for grass land to feed the cows. Yeah, you know, that's that's uh that's part of the thinking that we're we're putting into it. I'm just trying to think if I want another entrance way because they do have a stop sign right here. And it would make sense to put something right here to have this be our entrance way from that road and then what I would probably do is just put a fence up all along here fence this back fence in the whole area so that we have that piece fenced in for the cows the pigs right that's the that's the thought now what I want to do is if I bring this through Come on. Nope. That little bit right there. So if we bring this through. We. Let's see. I should probably go into that section. Okay, connect that there, and I'll clean that up. So if we do that, now we could take this back this way and potentially have maybe the pigs on this side and then have the cows on this side. You wouldn't have to haul bales so far. That's right, Swag. Very true, bud. Very true. So let's see. If we were to... Bring this... Now, would we want to maybe, well, I'll keep that right there because I would probably put a fence up here. And it's just a matter of, yeah, we could probably easily fit pig pens there. And like I said, put the cows because I have to see how large the cow pastures are. Hold on one second. Let's just clean that up right there. Is that enough? Yeah. Let's clean this bit. Okay. All right, let's take a look at pig pens that we have here. What's that? 250, 270. So this pig sty, 
Oh, what do we got here? Oh, look at this pigsty. You see this? It looks like they're uh, going to go there, like at the beach. Check this shit out. What the hell? Did anybody ever use this pigsty? Look at this. I wish I could get rid of that bar thing at the bottom so you could see better. The hell is this? A vacation resort? <laughs> yeah, bro, it's Piggy Resort. Hey, it's the bacon resort. It's the that's what it is. So we let them live in the lap of luxury before they, they go and become bacon. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I Get mean look at this relax. thing, bro. This Enjoy is better. Ride. Yeah, this is better than some places people really went to for vacation. We got Looks like we got so what's a, that's like four tiki bars at this joint. <laughs> this is too classy for our farm. <laughs> the heck is going on here? I'm curious though, because it's got this this downstairs area. It almost looks like the parking garage under here. Yeah. Thanks, and then. Sir. It's there. got a drive up area. So I'm what has anybody used this one? Yo, Matty X, what's up? First time chat, cuz. How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Great to see you. Hope you're doing amazing. Yeah, I'm like. I guess that it does it hold. Two fifty. Yeah, we can try it out. The I other one, this one, uh, this one does two seventy. That's like you know your standard looking. It's a good looking. Yeah. Pigsty. Barn, you know whatever. Yeah. Pigsty, I believe, is the proper term. Yeah. But. I mean, you see here, it's got the pipe, right, for us. It's got loading point. Whereas this one, I don't see nothing. I mean, it's got, I can't freaking zoom out. I hate, I hate that little panel at the bottom. I wish there was a way to hide that panel. Because I see there's like a container thing. See it right there at the top? Yeah. So there is something like a load point there. Right there, where we've dropped food in. But I don't see any place to pick up slurry. But, so you can also drop it inside. Probably under it. Yeah, I know, yeah that's what's weird. Like, I'm not... Is that a place yeah, for parties on the can... top? Yeah, swag, I'm telling you, bro. This is... We this can try is, it out, just for fun. You know what we could do? Here's what we'll do. I'll do both, right? I'll put this one down. I'll yeah. put the other one. <laughs> and what I'm thinking, guys, is so the pigs come in this one first. And this is where we raise them. We make them nice, nice and big and get them all plumped up. And then right before they go and become breakfast, this is where they go. This is... <laughs> this is like this is like in the Party US. Time. Yeah, in the US, <laughs> usually when the old folks are ready to retire, they go to Florida, they go to Arizona. This is this is resort central for any of the pigs from the bacon resort. Yeah, this is the, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need oddly to write enough, it down. Oddly enough, this you is need to, the you, nickname. You need to put the sign up. Bacon yeah, yeah, exactly. Resort. Yeah, we gotta put the sign. You're right. Oh, I could put the letters. I go. <laughs> yeah, I mean that. Yeah, bacon yeah. Bacon resort. Yeah, we could put the big glow in the dark letters, and mm -hmm. we're gonna. And oddly enough, this resort's gonna be called the Pit. <laughs> or no, the Spit. <laughs> the Spit. We're gonna call it the Spit. <laughs> yep, go start it up. Yeah, we're gonna call this the Spit, bro. Right? Isn't that what they call it, the Luau, where they put the 
the pigs in is the spit. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Welcome to Costa del Bacon. Cost, cost, <laughs> 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 oh, that's going to be awesome. All right. What I'll do is I'll put this over here for now. Um, because it looks like this will be a good, good amount of room. There we go. Okay. So there's Casa Casa de la Bacon, as Mr. Swede called it. All right. No, it it <laughs> it was uh, Weber in the chat. Oh, was it somebody? Oh, oh, Weber said, Weber. That. "Yeah, welcome to Casa yeah. de la Bacon." <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go. All right, no worries there. Bro, appreciate you for coming in. And, uh, yeah, I thank you for that. Yeah, is that a place for parties? Yeah, exactly. Maddie, how are you, bro? We need to, we need to hear them. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do. We need to get we need to get the bass beats going in there. Yeah, and uh, some disco balls oh, dude, turning around. Oh, dude, I can around. have lights, the lights that, sp that point up to the sky. Yeah. That swirl around. <laughs> <laughs> And I could put the letters, like, right here. I'll put, like, a little grass strip, and I can put Casa de la Bacon right there. Oh, that's going to be sick. Oh, there's the pipe. There it is, sweet, right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it. All right, cool. Hey, guys, I'm going to take a short break here. Um, let me... Let me go... Right, uh... Well, let's see. Let's go. Oh, we got the uh, harvest going on. Very cool. All right. So I'm going to just jump out here real quick. And I'm going to go take a short break, guys. Uh, we're going to go do the whole coffee and little snack. Hit the, hit the head. And I will be back very soon. I will see you guys in just a moment. I'll be right back, sweet. Yeah. Hello, are you in here? Do a little riffraff, please. So, how are everyone in that chat chat? Good. Uh, let's join the rife riff raffle riff raffle it has 30 seconds left join the riff raff the referral I'm good. 15 seconds, guys. Let's go. Don't 
Come on, guys. Shishi. Hello. Hey, sweet onion. Are good. How are you doing? Let's go, 60 seconds on the raffle. Go in there. Thirty seconds left, guys. Come on, let's go. Kishi and I took the win. Hooray. GG's. Let's go. Richard Farms. Can we get a shout out for Richard Farms, please? I'm good. How are you doing today? to hear Richard Or do you hear that?
All right, everybody. Um, back. Let's welcome back. Okay, there we go. All right, let's take a look here. Happy early birthday, Mrs. Crew. Yep. Yeah, Mrs. Crew's tomorrow. Dave from G Portal. What's up, buddy? How are you, sir? You missed it last night. Cole went on a stroll for an hour or more to get collectibles. <laughs> yeah, you definitely earned it. Got to use a million dollars of collectibles. Nice. Way to go, Cole Paz. All right. Let's take a look here. So, we placed down our pig farm. And let's go with our, I don't know. What do you think? Should we just put two of these down? Doing good, yeah, man. How not? are you? Oh, we're doing great, Dave. Good to see you, man. Let's get uh, Dave from G Portal a shout out, please. Yeah, because now I can see we have the drop point for food. Obviously, the buy point for the animals. And then I'm assuming that's our slurry pickup point. And uh, there's also a drop-off inside, right inside here. So we could put up two casas, right? What the hell? Yeah. So that'll be 500 cows, or cows, pigs. Pigs. That'll be 500 pigs. So let's see. We need enough room. I think that'll give us enough room, right, to pull up Don't and forget to pick up and drop off and whatnot. If you need an extra store for the slurry, yep, make room for that too. Oh yeah. Oh Dirt yeah. Tanks. Right. Right about here. Let's see. That should be. That should be good. Yeah, we'll be able to pull in there. <coughs> Farmer William, yo, what's up, buddy? How are you, farmer? Yeah, who knew kids leaving their toy tractors out to steal could be profitable? Grand Theft Tractor. That's it, Buddha. Yeah, I got a I got a Grand Theft Tractor representative here in Mr. Swede. Hola. Mm -hmm. Holla. Hoop Hooprawl. Hooprawl. Did I say that right? Welcome in, Hooprawl. Yeah, so I think that's good enough room right there, right? So we'll place those there. And let's see. What we'll do is, whoops, hello. What we'll do is we'll run this back here. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in, Hooprawl. Holla. Yeah, buddy. Let's get our paint on. So, I'm thinking, let's see, we'll bring this out to maybe like right about here. <coughs> little Tiger. Yo, what's up, Little Tiger? Happy birthday, Mr. Crew. Thank you, Little Tiger. I really appreciate that. It was great to see you the other day there in uh, video chat with Mrs. Crew. It was really cool to see uh, see the little baby, too. I think uh, that's your cousin's uh, baby, right? If I remember correctly. I think you guys are related that way, if, I, if, I, uh, if my memory serves me well. <coughs> yes. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I think we'll leave the concrete there like that. Oh, God dang it. Keep hitting the wrong freaking button. And then what we'll do is we'll bring this through over here. OK, 
Okay. So we'll bring that through and let's see. Let's go. What are we going to do? We'll make it to the end. Let's bring it to the end of the building. So we'll have it go kind of like that to the end of the building. And uh, wait, who's this? Happy birthday, Mr. Crew from Ali Alice Standen. Alice Standen, did I say that right? Let me know if I said that incorrectly. I do apologize if I did. All we have is the stream will be back shortly. Oh, you shouldn't have that screen, right? I did do away with that. Yeah, you guys should see the stream now, right? Hopefully, you see that. <coughs> see Cole Paz in the house. That's cool. And we do have a shout out for Cole Paz. Nice. And we got a happy birthday, my love, from Mrs. Crew. Just want to make sure I'm getting everything. Stream is up and audio is good. Okay, cool. Oh, Alice Standen is the, is the hub, hubby. Okay. Well, how's it going, Alice Standen? Great to see you, man. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate that. We've known Little Tiger for, uh, my goodness, how long has it been, babe? A couple years now, right? So it's great to see you, Alice Standen. You have, uh, you have a wonderful person there in uh, Little Tiger. I know her and my wife have known each other, and I mean, by default, I've I've known her. She's been in my stream many, many times, so I always appreciate uh, her coming in and seeing you come in now is awesome. All right, so we have, what do we call it? Casa de la Bacon. We got it. <laughs> we got our two, our two pig resorts. Now, I am going to do some decorating. We're going to clean it up. We'll put some grass back here. Um, some trees, you know, make it look all nice and yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be pretty cool for these, uh, let's put this here. Let's do, let's, uh, let's see. Do we want to do that to the end? Nah, I might keep that. I might put grass in right along this side here. Now this section Let's take a look here. We're going to go take a stroll. See what opens up. We got an ad in progress here, guys. So so let's see what opens, what doesn't open. So I figured, yeah, this is going to be the door for that. Okay. <coughs> then we have a drop point here. And then we can... Pigs can just kind of meander up here when they're in the vacation mood. Oh, what do we got here? We got little... I don't know what these are for. These little... Uh, they look like the things you would find in like a parking spot. You know what I mean? We got some plants up here. I'm assuming this is some good mud up there for them. Oh, look at that. It won't let me walk past there on that side anyway. All right. So it'll let me go, but I can't go there. And then we have some uh, some umbrellas here for the pigs if they want to get in the shade. And then there's a door, I think, over here. That doesn't open, though. Some kind of trap door, maybe? 
whatever it might be. Looks pretty cool. We got a resub for Mrs. Crew there. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. All right. That looks pretty good for now. Let's go and I think it's okay to put this stuff away. And we're going to go in. Let's get a save here real quick. How you making out there, Swede? I'm good. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this stuff here because I think it's safe to say that we're okay with that. And we'll bring this back to the farm. <clears throat> and then uh, we'll take a look and see at the pigsties there. See if we can do just a little bit of decorating. Try to get a few things done. Casa de la Bacon. I love it. I love it. I'm thinking, Swede, one of these times when we do a flyby over there at the Casa underneath those umbrella stands over there we're gonna see some pigs chilling with leaning back with their legs crossed on some barca loungers with uh, a cigarette in one hand and a mai tai in the other <laughs> i mean i think they're gonna go all out man they're gonna be ready to you know just veg as they say yeah i'm thinking they're gonna be real comfortable All right, let's see. We can, whoopsie daisy, too fast, too fast. Just wanna get this in there enough to trip the trigger. Without crashing into the workbench. All right, let's see. Hopefully that'll, yeah, that's got everything. Good. I always just want to make sure we get everything so I don't have to take one piece, do the other, take the other one back in there, grab the other piece. Little Tiger coming in with the lurk. Thank you very much. I'll be back. Do you need this silage, boss, at all? No, I don't think so. Okay, I'm going to go put this one back. Maybe later. I'll stand in coming ah. in with the lurk, too. Thank you. Lurk. <clears throat> okay, so we filled up our slurry pit with the wood chips. Our roller is done on the grass. We'll put that away, too. Whoops, 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 whoops. I'm not offloading, crew. Not offloading here, bro. Just bring this back and put it away. Swede's got both con combines out, running amok, doing their thing. All right, let's just take that. Now we'll go put the dolly away and we'll get the roller put away. I like how that big old lump of grass is sitting out there. It wouldn't get picked up for some reason. Let's uh, hold the pipe. Done. Nexus crew, I 
don't load in ATS and and ATS in your company is rank 747 in race miles okay interesting okay I guess that's good I don't know if it's 747 out of 748 companies then I guess that wouldn't be too good but if there's like you know 5,000 companies or something then that's pretty good and that's without us even having our full company like we we have we haven't really done anything you know So I'll take it. Sold. Okay. Uh, what do we want to do? We want to move that other. This one here. There we go. What? Yeah, he doesn't like perfumes and sprays. Oh. Oh to clean right yeah yeah oh he don't like nothing like that yeah, Zeus is like yo man anything comes flying out a bottle spray can anything that smells deodorant cleaners I don't, I don't want no part of that mm -mm. our dog as soon as uh, you get like any kind of sprays or deodorants or anything that you know you would use for like personal hygiene we'll call it or cleaning products man as soon as he hears or sees or maybe gets a whiff he's like nope time to go under the desk <laughs> he's like move them legs there dad i gotta get under the desk yesterday or last night he curled up under the pillows that we had and then there was a blanket that was like leaning off the edge of the bed and he went curled up in the blanket. He was just like, yo, man, I can't get away from this shit. What's going on? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's put this away for now. And we'll do a fly over here, I guess. Let's take a look at how things are. So this, these two fields are what Swede is working on. Every field. <laughs> and let's see, we're gonna go over here. So we have these two fields were plowed and looks like Swede's guy is doing vert on yep. two plowed fields and possibly the yeah the last one too. sugar cane field that yeah it's like done. that was all mulched okay actually let's go in let's go in the spreader because that'll bring us over this way Okay, let's take a look. These were weeded, that's right. Those were weeded. So we're hoping to get one more growth out of that sugarcane field. And you said our sugarcane production facility was full. Yeah. Right? So let's see, sugar cane, yeah, 719,000 liters. And we could still put sugar beet in there if we choose to, but I think for now, it's best to just let the sugar cane do its thing. Because sugar beet, we could use for other stuff too, like we could get chopped sugar beet. Our slurry production is going, we're getting a little low on straw. We're almost full capacity on the slurry that's produced. 
So we'll have to load with straw. We got plenty of straw. Um, manure is full. That's not a problem. Uh, flour. Flour is producing. And we have a lot of other things here that were missing materials. Silage being the big deal. And then we have our silage pits that we started the other day. If I can get to it. There we go. So that's where we are with silage. We have currently 1.9 million in the first bunker. And we have almost 1.5 million in the second. So like I said yesterday, I started, you know, pushing this up. Um, you know, cleaning this up so that we can start to fill this front section. So two, I would say we're going to get three million. I don't think we're going to hit four. I'm thinking we're getting about three million in each of these. So that'll give us nine million liters. Sugar beets take forever to grow. Yep. Yeah, just like poplar too. Poplar's got a, a long cycle. So we have three bins that we're going to fill up. I'm looking at about 9 million liters uh, all together. So that's good. So yeah, we're, we're in good shape, guys. We got, uh, welcome back, Vito. Yo, we're in good shape. We have um, our other field up here. Our corn field. So we're going to have to get this field so I did get it plowed let me just get over here for you so we're probably going to have to do um, uh, some fert and then we're going to have to drop our seed in there for our next corn harvest I'm hoping since the bunkers that we had we filled up I'm going to assume that we're going to be able to fill up the first bay, potentially the second bay, and then a small part of the third one. So we may have to do one more corn harvest of chaff for that. So we have this field that will get prepped up. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're really, uh, we're doing well. And we have our new pigsties up we're going to get ready to drop some cow cow barns down over there let's actually take a look at the cow barn thing real quick here i want to see how much space because we're going to go with the where's it at cows it should be this one right here so the cattle pen. This is going to hold a thousand cows. All right. So actually, let's see. How's this work? We have animals <coughs> there. What's that question mark for? Drop off. Hey, Buddha, are you still, do you have pig food being made? Uh, actually not yet. Nope. That's why we didn't buy any pigs just yet. Um, pig food maker is going to be one of the next productions. that's going to be going up. We do have an ad coming up in about 35 seconds. I think it's 80,000 for a straw chopper. I like that thing to make extra silage. Does a one to one ratio cheap straw chaff and fast too okay all right cool uh the question mark is to open production to see how many cows and milk you have okay and then um on here now what do we get out of this buddha because i think this is the ones that you're doing right the cattle pens do i need to hook up anything for slurry uh, manure, anything like that? Or is all that going to happen automatically? And 
then we need to think about how we want to position these. We could go this way. I think it turns the grid off. Gotcha. Now, are they going to stay that size so I don't have to account for any kind of expansion on this, right? That you'll have to place a liquid silo for slurry or milk. And manure, you can just use the base game bunker. Copy that. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we do want to leave a spot for those things. So I'm thinking that I'll put it across from the pigsties. And then, like, maybe over here we'll put one small kind of thing, right? Shed or something, maybe. And then over here we'll put those collection uh, pieces. We could probably do something like that. It only shows 10 at a time. Copy. Okay. Fair enough. So I'm wondering what I'll do is I'll go a little bit closer to the front here in the event that we want to drop maybe two more in there. Okay. So if I go here, like to the end of this building, right? Just like so. We can do that. And go right across here. And we'll drop that in like that. So that'll be our initial two. Yeah, that is really small for a thousand cal. Yeah, I know, isn't it? Liquid silo mod is a good five million capacity and we'll take milk and slurry if you do milk you have to put a milk extension on also okay all right cool fair enough yeah, and then like I said we'll put something over here you know it could be sheds for whatever we need uh, or it could be those tanks that um, it's talking about for additional storage so we'll see we'll figure we'll figure something out but I figure I'll put it like that. This way when we pull up here, we can just move over, go along here, drop, right? So I think that'll work. Take this vehicle over. Take a look. There goes our combines. Pumping out the crops. Oh, actually, we're getting close to nighttime here, too. Where it'll get dark, I might be able to show you guys those letters and numbers. So you'll get a look at it. We'll have to see. Might have to wait until everything's done. Definitely get it on the next one. We don't get it on this one. All right, so we're to go here, and there's water trigger right there too. All right, let's go up here. Okay, B is hide grid. Okay. So, Buddha, let me ask you a question. If I were to build a fence around this, have you tried anything like that? Does it give you any issues? Like if I were to, uh, I don't know, let's say from here, maybe. Did you have any problems with animals? Being able to stay in there or any kind of complications. I was in Tim Miller 63 stream last night. He had those. Oh, oh. 
He had those lighted letters on a building. Wicked cool. It looked like a sign. Yeah, exactly. Yep. I use a fence unless I was going to build my own fence. Cool. Shouldn't wander, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think they will. Nope. I'm just saying just for uh, decorative purposes, you know, to make it look a little more like a fenced-in area. I don't mind open pastures, right? Those are cool. But I got a Bob Ross it over here, so I was just curious. There we go. If we were to do something like that, right? Only issues with fences if you're near water for me. Okay. So I'm assuming that that should be okay. So we'll go ahead and we'll do another one here. All right. Let's see. Right about there. So how many people think one of the best things they did for farm sim with fencing is what we have here? Remember you used to have to build those things at one fence post at a time? Holy crap. All right, there we go. I know we don't have anything connected right there, but I don't think that's a major deal. We still have some open range here where I live, not... Something you see very often. Gotcha. There is a cow chute for loading to. The pen has its own fences. Oh, wait. Are you saying that when I get cows here, it'll create its own fence? Is that... Or am I reading into it something else? <clears throat> okay, that'll look good. We could add in. Whoops, yeah, I didn't want to do that. We could add in. in our own grass the old fences were a very time to oh yeah yeah right I, those old fences bro oh my god that was a nightmare when you had to work with that stuff on 19 man yeah these are a treat you good babe yeah, these are a treat. Hydrate from Steve-O. Thank you, sir. Will do. Will do. Okay, have a great day, crew. Happy birthday again. We'll catch you next time. All right, Vito. Appreciate you, buddy. Let's get a parting shout-out for our teammate. Big veto there. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that'll work. <clears throat> like I said, we're going to do some more decoration and stuff. But that's going to that's gonna work, I think, for what we did today, man. That's a lot. Thank you, Cole Paz. Appreciate it. Yep, today and then tomorrow's the misses. So...
Yeah, we got a lot done today. I'm really glad that we got now the pigs. Now, remember, we only buy four. Tell her happy birthday. Colpaz says happy birthday, baby. She says thank you. One million liters of food. 175,000 of straw for capacity on it. And it will accept separate manure if you run the pumps and hoses back. Gotcha. Yeah, so remember, we only purchase four of the animals. And then all the rest come from reproduction. So that'll be an interesting an interesting situation. It's going to take 20 years to fill that cow pen. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be pretty cool, bro. I'm digging it. Yeah, I'm curious, you know how things are going to go on it. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's see. Well, we're at that three-hour mark, a little bit over the three-hour mark. And me and the missus are going to get ready to head out. So I want to thank everybody. Please come along for a raid. We're going to get a raid together. I want to thank everybody for coming out today. It's been fantastic. I thank you for all the happy birthday inquiries and uh, uh, the shout-outs and all that and the biddies and the subs and resubs. You guys have been phenomenal today. Sweet, thank you for your help on the farm. Uh, the You're modders welcome. that came out, thank you very much for coming out and modding. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys again. And another bitty drop there. Thank you, Swag. Much appreciated. And uh, happy birthday to both of you. Thank you, Buddha. Um, all the new followers that came out today, please um, keep a lookout for us. We're going to have... Uh, more stuff that we're going to be doing on this farm and we got some you know new things if you are not uh subscribed to our youtube channel exclamation point youtube go on over i have uh total war rome 2 uh five episodes that we've put up in the last week and a half uh hope to do some more over the next couple days and complete that campaign so uh if you've never seen total war rome 2 or you're a fan of total war rome 2 go on over check it out Maybe hit that sub, hit that like, drop a comment. So, guys, thank you. Have a great birthday to both of you. Love you and have a great day. Thank you, Cole. Much appreciated. Um, and then, Buddha, uh, you know, if we get a chance today or in the next couple days, please hit me up. We'll try to get you uh, on here. Um, you know, we'll see if things work out. Uh, once again, we did have a slight issue with the invite, the game not showing up this morning. But then we just did a, you know, uh, we came out of the game, went back in the game, and it popped right up. Uh, Swede was able, he was in the menu for where the server shows up, and it popped right up real quick. So, all right, so let's go get a raid on. And um, we're going to go, and let's go say hi to Rainbow... Dave, he's playing Farm Simulator. So, guys, once again, thank you very much. Uh, message you after you're done. Yep, see what we can do. Sounds great. Thank you very much, guys. Please have an amazing day. Remember, 
Be safe. Happy gaming. Be blessed. <coughs> and we will see you again. This is Crew. And I'm out.